Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Deal Family Vlogs. Guess where we are. That's okay, you don't have to guess, I'll just tell you. We're in Mexico Beach, Florida. The beach is right here. There's the ocean, the coast. We're about to get a pretty rough storm. Gosh, look at that. It's crazy. Out here on the coast like this, you can't rely on the weather. On your app, on my, on my phone app, earlier this morning said nothing. And now a storm has fabricated out of absolute thin air. But we'll take you with us, you know, we'll, we'll take you with us. It's my birthday weekend, me and my brother. I'm turning 31 and he's turning 26. We have the same birthday. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, here, here's a better look. There, here's a better look at the water. But anyways, we'll take you out with us as the day goes through. See what we do, where we go, what kind of fun we'll have as we celebrate our birthday weekend. And go down to see the water. And I got this box in case it starts raining on us. I'm going to put her processor in there to so keep it safe and dry. So let me cross the road and get to the other side. I ain't gonna drink that water. Sarah, does the sand feel good on your toes? Yes! <laughs> oh man, look at all the shells. What? What are you doing? You can't catch that bird. Go get it. See if you can. <laughs> ain't no way. All right, come on. It looks a little dark back there still. How does that water feel? Does it feel good? What? Water? Yeah, water feels good. If you like to collect seashells, you come here to Mexico Beach, you can have all you can handle. Sarah found her son. Mackenzie's got her son. But look at this, piles of them. All down the beach, all the way down. When the water comes up and hits this little drop off right here, everywhere. So I got a question for somebody who might know something about seashells. Why do all these got holes in them? It looks like somebody deliberately drilled holes right in the center of these shells. I mean, look at this. Look at all the holes in all these shells. That's crazy. I've never, I've never seen anything like that. And there's a crap ton of them, that's for sure. They're about to kill them not to get in their bathing suits and jump in there, but thunderstorms come up, roll in at random you know, on the coast. Can't go by the weather or anything like that. But hey, we're gonna have plenty of fun. Megan, if you wonder where Megan's at, she's up at the house trying to take care of some business. This is my Mimi. Mimi, say hey. Hey. And to imagine that people that live so far, like so far up north from here, they'll never get to see the ocean in person is sad. Everybody should get to swim in the ocean at least once. Check these out. I guess these are like little crab holes. You can see those tiny little feet scraping across the sand. What, Dad? You think that's a little crab hole? Yeah. I just They're saw everywhere. a crab go in it. They're all over the beach. So this is very interesting, something I've just seen here. And I've seen these before on the beach in Panama City. Do not disturb sea turtle nest. Violators subject to fines and imprisonment, which I'm absolutely not going to mess with this at all. But that's very cool to see that. That's neat. There's another one right over there. Like I said, we're not messing with these things in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to show you because I thought it was very interesting. You know, something that would be really cool to see is these little baby turtles hatch and go into the ocean, which probably won't. I don't know if they hatch at night or what, but it's pretty neat. Sarah's still trying to catch these seagulls. It's funny because she's calling them eagles. Look at her. <laughs> She's trying to catch them. <laughs> we just spotted the dolphin. Let's see if we can catch him. I highly doubt you can see it from the screen. I don't know. There he goes. Well, bye bye beach until tomorrow. Picked up a load of seashells. Seen the dolphin. I'm gonna head back in, getting hungry. Here we are on St. George Island. This took about an hour to get here from where we were staying at. And before you ask, yes, I have lady glasses on because uh, we misplaced my sunglasses, so I had to wear my mother's. Thankfully, she had something for me to wear. But everybody's up there. 
under the tent they got music playing and if i put the music in the background of the video youtube will take it down so i come down by the water but uh the jellyfish they had the two uh, hazard flags up one was for the uh i guess the waves are rough and the other one was for the sting uh the stinging uh, wildlife we've all gotten bit by or stung by the jellyfish since we've been here um uh, but yeah here's some clips of us on the way here Have left the beach we all got a little sunburnt i think we're exhausted we are uh a little shopping plaza over by the mouth of the Africa, uh, apalachicola river so uh we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and then uh, see what happens next guess what guys i got stung by a jellyfish oh, <laughs> she needs some sun today <laughs> like i said earlier we were on the apalachicola river this right here is the mouth of the river i'm standing on a little dock that kind of stretches out past the little pier here but past that is where they collect all the oysters hey that guys, you eat. look at my drink anyways but it's pretty cool this whole Appalachian river here it's not it's not just used for oysters you know they move stuff up and down the river and all kind of yeah there's a cool color right there hmm. that's pretty cool pretty neat stuff interesting how far this city goes back Oyster City, 1830s. 1830s. Pretty interesting stuff. But anyways, just thought I'd show that. I'll tell you what, if I fell in that water, I'd have a heart attack. That's some black, black water. Look at this. That's water up under there too. I'm gonna go check out them shrimp boats. Check it out. I don't know about you, but I think this kind of stuff here is pretty cool because all the the history and everything, like you said earlier, goes back to like the early 1800s and you got all the fishing and the, the shrimping and the oyster and everything that comes out of the Apalachicola. Piggly Wiggly, my allergies are killing me. And what's better than a late night ice cream run? Little funny little thing here. This guy right here on the cover of this uh, ice cream bar thing looks exactly like a uh, ag teacher I used to have back in high school. Right there. It's crazy. Megan is sitting here a couple of nights later editing the vlog that we did and realized that I didn't close it out. So I hope y'all enjoyed our beach trip as much as we did. Remember that Dill family loves you. Jesus loves you. Y'all have a great rest of your whatever you see this at. Love y'all.